endometriosis uh, is defined as the growth of the womb lining outside the womb. So um, you see, every month the womb lining is being expelled and become a period. But some of it actually travel backward through the tubes and got implanted in the ovaries or in the pelvis or sometimes even in the uh, on the bowel or bladder. Endometriosis can occur at any time. Um, usually, uh, the earliest I've seen uh, patients who are in the late teens, we're talking about after 17, 18 years old. And um, usually it tends to get better with age, but um, we do have quite a big group of patients with endometriosis. Uh, and most of the patients tend to be in their 20s or early 30s. Uh, less common so for patients in the late 30s or 40s. They may present with symptoms such as painful period, um, or severe PMS, and in severe cases uh, where it actually involves the back of the uterus and also near the bowel, it can present with uh, painful intercourse. Uh, and. Um, Many patients who suffer from endometriosis present with problem conceiving uh, because the problem with endometriosis is that it can actually damage the tube. Uh, it can cause the tube to be blocked or kinked. Uh, it can also damage the inner lining of the tubes. So, um, so it depends on the severity uh, and degree of uh, endometriosis. So patients may actually present differently. Patients who present early, we are talking about early to moderate endometriosis, uh, we can actually offer them some sort of uh, oral medication pill which she can take every day uh, to suppress um, the endometriosis itself. Um, it is believed to um, reduce the symptoms and also improve uh, the outcome in terms of the fertility rate for patients. Uh, we can also, but um, in patients who doesn't require uh, children or does not require fertility, we're talking about patients in the, who has already have children still suffering from endometriosis, and uh, we can actually offer them an intrauterine device. We call it uh, Myrena, where they actually reduce releases hormones to uh, uh, which actually helps to inhibit ovulation, and in that. Uh, uh, with that, they can actually control the endometriosis itself. So, generally, the earlier they come, the better. Before, because there are certain damages caused by the endometriosis that is not reversible, such as damage to the inner lining of the tube. Or, I mean, uh, for in surgery, we can still remove the endometriosis. We can correct the blockage. We can unblock the tubes, which is blocked by the endometriosis but there are certain things which is not reversible. So the answer to the question is that the earlier they come, the better it is.